<laughs> Finally, in a world that gets more anxiety-inducing every day, Dan Rather's voice is the clonopin we desperately need. And here's what. Daddy's upping your dosage with Rather Reassuring. Dan, I'm going to throw out a currently upsetting current event. You tell us it's going to be OK, OK? What it, give me some reassuring thoughts to the people who are upset that President-elect Trump is tweeting constantly in a thin-skinned manner. Well, number one, I recommend prayer. OK. Uh, that's the first thing. Second thing, I think, is to recognize that we're in an interregnum period here. He's not yet president. One can hope uh, that he puts his nose in the briefing books rather than his Twitter account. Mm. I'm not optimistic about this, but one essence of being an American is to be optimistic and to stay steady. Mm. What are your reassuring thoughts for those who have given up on love now that Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie <laughs> are divorcing? Well, you never give up on love. But I will say, I, I was surprised by this. I thought they were going to make it yes. against the odds. You know, Hollywood marriage, all of that. But uh, you never give up on love. Come on. Come Reassuring on. thoughts to supporters or to people who are um, unsure about the electoral vote versus the popular vote, how, how they could be so drastically different. Well, first of all, I do think and a lot of people aren't going to like this. Time to get over it. The system is what the system is. It's not likely to be changed. They just talk about changing the Electoral College. It's not going to happen. Uh, the game is to win the Electoral College. Donald Trump won the Electoral College. It's over. We have to face the future. And, I, 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 you know, I'm confident that Americans as a whole will stay steady because we have a lot of flaws as, as a people, as a country. But cowardice is not one of them. And if, if it proves to be the case going forward, that President Donald Trump is a bully, we'll stand up to him. What are your reassuring thoughts to New Yorkers uh, who are worried that Fifth Avenue is going to be a crapshoot because of the uh, security surrounding Trump Tower? It is going to be a crapshoot. <laughs> and just get over it. <laughs> yeah, you've got to get past it. Get past it. Yeah. You've got to get past it. But, you know, this is New York. Traffic jams are not new to us. Uh, somebody quoted me once as saying, and I did say it, that Americans will put up with almost anything except the traffic jam. Mm. And we're going to be put to the test day after day, month after month, during this Trump presidency. Thank you very much. You know what? That was rather reassuring. I feel very good. Courtney, doesn't that make you feel good? I feel better. I was, <laughs> I'm sitting next to her. I'm going to curl up. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Watch more clips here. And subscribe to our channel here. See ya.